Hello, Guardians and Gamers, and welcome back to this Tuesday Reset for March 19th. As always, we're going to be starting at Tess at the Eververse and seeing what she's got for some Bright Dust for us this week. And actually, before I even start off with the Bright Dust, we've got the Ghostbuster stuff. If you've got the silver, Bungie definitely has some of the stuff that you want. So definitely take a look at it. Uh, the Phantom God Sparrow is really, really decent. But I'm going to say this, I, you know, you've got the board. You know, are you going to buy the Sparrow? Yeah, that's that's kind of my thing. Next up, we've got the Ecto Jump Ship, which is the Ghostbuster car. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's nostalgic. I grew up with Ghostbusters, you know me it's really amazing but uh yeah next up slimer the paper mache slimer i i don't know it's kind of weird looks uh you know kind of weird it's, it's all like it, it's halloweenish i i think they could have even saved this ghostbuster stuff for the halloween event that uh, we would have gotten this year it but it, you know Whatever they have to do to make some money on the side, they are definitely going to do. But yes, 2,500 Glimmer for the package. You can buy it individually if you just want the ship or you just want the Sparrow or you just want the Slimer Ghost Shell. You know, 800 silver, 1,000 silver for each of these. So yeah, it's uh, a little bit to spend. I mean, that's 2,500. It's about 25 bucks. 26 bucks, something like that, or 30 bucks because you got to buy at least 3,000 silver. So, anyways, stuff that we can get for in game currency because that's where we're at. Up for grabs, shader. It's fairly decent. Next, we got the rivalry, uh, white sand shader, uh, the stalwart sigil effect, the triple bogey vehicle, and the uh, the reigning champion emote which is actually kind of pretty cool you know you, you get the wwe like check my belt out or ufc whatever you want to uh compare that to but the uh fervent fan projection for the ghost uh i don't know i'm not even going to try to pronounce that what is the uh boosphalus boosphalus uh, boosephalus Boosef i don't know anyways it's a sparrow uh we got the champion advantage Ship, the tasseled ghost shell, uh, the free throw emote, the uh, touchdown dance, as well as the exercise cycle. Uh, we've also got the reflection effect, the cyber class entrance, uh, the uh, spring fountain effect, the photo finish, and 100%. I do suggest picking this up if you are a new light, you don't have this. It's got some pretty cool effects with. Uh, some different armor that you can put on. We got the Titan Slate uh, Shader, the Rivalry Black Sand Shader again, and the Verdant Crown Shader. All right, this week for, or actually today, uh, the legendary weapons that uh, Banshee has, we've got the Luna Lotta Combat Bow with uh, No Distraction and Wellspring, the Cartesian Coordinates Fusion Rifle with Hip Fire Grip and Snapshot Sights which it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, we got the annual skate with tunnel vision and wellspring, the cold denial pulse rifle with feeding frenzy and unrelenting and the bump in the night rocket launcher with steady hands and chain reaction. It's not the best stuff that he got or the legendary armor set that uh, Ada has for the hunter is the Icarus grifter armor set. It's only for transmog and I wouldn't suggest to pick this up the stats on it. Our absolute hooey. So moving on, we've got the gold leaf shader, and I do suggest picking this one up. It looks absolutely amazing on a lot of the armor sets, plus on a lot of the weapons. Next up, we got the Bray Innovation Shader and the New Monarchy Allegiance Shader. Um, everybody, the uh nightfall this week is going to be the corrupted. Um, I am going to point out if uh if you don't have a fire team or um, you guys are looking to do the GM, you know, to get that adept slammer sword, uh, which is new in the game. And I 100% suggest getting it because it is really, really cool. 
We like cool things. Um, definitely join a Discord, join a community, um, even try out the uh, Fire Team Finder, the new thing that uh, Bungie has recently put in, uh, and try and pick that up. But yes, it is the corrupted uh, Nightfall this week, which you know isn't the easiest uh, to do for a GM, especially. But uh, you know, let's get it done. Uh, next up, we've got the raid this week is Deepstone Crypt. The dungeon is Pit of Heresy, and the mission is presage everybody if you can do me that favor hit the like and subscribe button come check us out live at youtube.com forward slash at star set seven love to have you guys while you're on my page the discord link is right there join up let us know what you guys got on the go join some of the raids dungeons until next you all be safe and take care